So this is pretty normal when you're just sitting there, the eyes are pretty much closed? Mm -hmm. I can try to force them open. Um, it's a strain. It, if I'm concentrating on a task, it's easier to keep them open. If I'm sewing, um, sometimes read a magazine, I can sometimes keep them open. But it depends on how relaxed I are and what time of day it is. Um, Oh this is this light, light uh, fluorescent lighting is terrible. I can't go into stores with fluorescent lights. It's, I have to really acclimatize myself to that. I'll wear sunglasses. I even have moisture goggles with a band of foam so the wind doesn't come in, which is part of the dry eye syndrome. Um, but it's a, a struggle. It's a daily struggle. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and put the mouthpiece in that I just handed to you. Okay, take it out for a second, I just want to see. There we go. That's the transition. Okay, go ahead and put it in. My eyes are open and I'm not talking. Look up to the light. That's fluorescent lighting. That's fluorescent. Yeah. yeah. You've had the acupuncture too, where they couldn't get the needles into. Mm hmm. Acupuncture for TMJ. Where they, it, it was so tight they couldn't get the needles in. They were popping out. Well, what do you think? What are you feeling right now as we adjusted the mouthpiece and just put it in? It's going to be a bit of an adjustment to get used to it, but that's minor in comparison to the pain that I've endured. Um, I'm really hoping to not have headaches that are, that are debilitating every single day. They've been, I've been swatted into the menopause kind of I also have Hashimoto's uh, arthritis, so it's, everything's been thrown into that, into those different catch-alls. And so, but I think this is a, de a definite connection between us. If I can keep my eyes open, I'll improve the quality of my life. And if I, the pain will dissipate, that will also enhance my quality. Okay, good.